Hi, in this tutorial we will see how we can drag and drop events in React Pack Calendar. Hi all, so let's get into it. Um, we saw in the intro how we can, uh, how we were able to basically drag and drop uh, events from outside the calendar as well as move events around from inside the calendar by dragging and dropping. So yeah let's see how we can do that so first of all um let me close the other files yeah you need to uh, basically pass this big calendar uh, component which is the usual big calendar component we use for the big calendar in the with drag and drop hair order component so what it does is it enables what it returns is basically a component the same component of the big calendar but with drag and drop and other abilities embedded in it so that's what we want and then i have used it here just like always and i'm giving it some dummy props um which you can see here so i'm using the custom event event component which i use in all the uh, big calendar tutorials because it looks better and also some um, default uh, props so that i don't have to you know pass them here and then i'm passing events events is a state um, basically we would mutate the state whenever we would drag and drop or resize or you know do anything so that, that is why it is a state and then I have some resources as well here these three and you know I'm basically you know um, you can see the resources here so let's see um, first of all we'll see how we can drag and drop events f inside the calendar also how we can resize them and then we will see how we can drag and drop events from outside the calendar so yeah so first of all um yeah so we have some props five or six props which are important and would be used by you for dragging and dropping there's one or two props which i won't mention and they are not that important you can ignore them and you know you would be able to do everything with these props so first prop is by default, if you're using the DNT calendar, that is, you know, you are passing it with the uh, with drag and drop uh, hair order component. Drag and drop is enabled, so you know, um, I can drag and drop. But obviously, dropping it d isn't doing anything because I'm not mutating the state. Same case here. I'm, you know, dragging and dropping, but nothing is happening. Yeah. So let's see. So, um. There are some props for it. So first prop is on event drop. So basically this function would be called when we would drop the event and it would contain the updated time. So whenever we drop an event or we resize an event, what things change? So the start date can change, start time, the end time can change or the resource can change. You know, maybe I'm not changing the start or end time, but I'm may maybe basically changing the resource. I'm uh, dragging it from this lane to this lane or maybe i am changing the start or end time both or i'm just you know by resizing i'm only changing the end time or maybe by resizing i'm only changing the start time so that, that is what it is so we have uh, first of all we have um on event drop so let's look at it um I've already made a function for it we will you know plug in things into it so this particular function gives us the event which has been dropped the start time the updated start time the updated end time and the resource id so you know whatever the updated start end time and resource uh, of the dropped event is they will be present here so let's mutate the state so we'll say uh, set events because that is the setter name prev events and then I would say prev events dot map so prev event I would say that if I would only like to change the event which is corresponding to this events ID right so I would say um, prev event data appointment id is equal to is equal to event app 
point um, dot data appointment id otherwise i would just uh, return the previous event you know uh, i won't don't want to do anything with it but in this case i want to so i would spread the event object and then i would basically update it with uh, the updated start and end resource ids cool so yeah with there is a function um let me see if it works so now if i drag and drop you can see that the event is now dropping why because now i'm basically mutating the state and setting the that particular events start time end time and resource id to what you know the dropped event has basically so whatever i'm getting in this drop function cool this same thing these same params are uh, given to us when we resize the event as well so whenever we would resize it it would basically give us on event resize uh, it would basically call this function so i can pass the same function here and now if i resize you will see that it resizes as well cool pretty simple thing we just wrote one function and it's applicable to dropping and resizing and you know we were able to do th these two things uh, pretty easily now another thing with a script the accessors um you would want sometimes that some events are droppable while others are not some are resizable while others are not so how can you do that so you can pass a draggable accessor so draggable accessor can be a property uh, can be a string which would basically uh, be the property of that particular event and it would be used to see if you know uh, it should be dra drag it should be droppable or not uh, it should be draggable or not so um let's say i say it's is draggable if i go to the um, events array i have so you can see that i have an is draggable property right here which says true here but it's also true here so let me change it to false and now if i go here uh, for which event i set it to false the second event this one so now you can see that okay so it's still droppable for it's still draggable for some reason okay let me refresh okay now you can't drag it basically so that is what it does also if you want to enable resize for a particular event and not for the other event you can do that as well so i can do resizable accessor and i can either pass a string which would basically determine the property of uh, you know that particular event which would uh, dictate if i want to resize or not so i can say is resizable let me go here and okay so is it as well as true here but it's not anything here so this means false right so i refresh so now you can see that it has got no resize handles how however it has got resize uh, yeah one thing or more if dragging is not enabled for a particular event then resizing also not enabled for a particular event so you know i will have to turn it to true so that you can see it so let me refresh so now you can see there are resize handles for it so i can resize this but i cannot resize this i can drag and drop it but i cannot resize it so that is what these accessors do you can either pass a function or you can pass the a string which would basically determine the property which would tell if you want to if you, you know if the event should be resizable or draggable cool now the last thing is dropping something from outside the calendar now maybe you want to do that um it would be you know a very small use case most of the people would not want to do it but still so right now um basically you can see that these are draggable how are these draggable um through the drag and drop api so html5 has a drag and drop api through which you can drag anything so you can drag um you know you ha just have to set draggable true to any you know any html element a div or whatever and then you have to pass an on drag start function which would basically get called when you would start dragging 
so but these are not uh, this is not necessary for dragging I can still refresh and you know th this can be dragged the reason we will use the on drag start function is because sometimes we would want the uh, event to not be droppable so for in this particular case you can see that I am saying that draggable but not for calendar so it is draggable but I don't want to drop it but in this case I want to drop it so what I would do is when I would start dragging a particular event in this case there are two boxes I would basically when I would start dragging this one I would set it to undroppable which is basically a string which I would use later when I would drop it and then in this particular case I am basically there is a dummy appointment object and I will set it to this dummy appointment object so when I would drop it I would basically use this information to see if I want to you know drop it or not so in order to drop and uh, something from outside I will use the on drop from outside function cool and it is already declared here so it would give me the start end, and resource it isn't given me an event object because uh, as of right now it's not a event of the calendar it's you know something outside so yeah that is what we have so basically I would say here first of all if dragged event is equal to undroppable the return don't do anything uh, what does this mean because I want that particular event to be undroppable that is I don't want it to be dropped on the calendar when I start dragging it on drag start functions get called gets called I set the dragged event to undroppable and when I drop it this function gets called on the calendar and here I'm checking if dragged event is undroppable return so you know it won't be dropped on the calendar cool now I can you know write the code for the case when it would be droppable so I will say set events prev events I will spread the prev events array and then here I would you know create a new uh, event object so I would say start and resource ID resource then data so basically this is how I'm you know I have the event array shaped you can check the type um, you can check this type so it's start and data inside it should be appointment then is draggable is resizable and resource ID so inside the data I would pass the appointment here which is dragged event in this case I would say appointment dragged event and then what else is remaining yeah that's it I, if I want that dropped event from outside to be draggable and resizable as well I can also you know do that so I can say is draggable and then is resizable true cool so now this would work as well so now I copy this uh, I drag it and you know drop it here nothing happens but if I drop it here you can see that now it's dropping because I am modifying the state and I'm appending it to the event state this particular and now because I am setting this events array as it is draggable and is resizable property to true as well I can drag I can resize and drag and drop this event as well which I just dropped from outside so this was the drag and drop API in Rackpay calendar I'm sure you enjoyed the video and learned something from it if you want uh, if you have any confusion, you can comment down below. If you want any further tutorials regarding Rackpay Calendar or web, web development in general, you can also request that. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.